What is up everybody? It is me, Devil Never Cry, and if you can't already tell, today we're going to be talking about Judgment, a zany third-person action game set in the fictional city of Kamurocho, Japan. For those of you that have played any of the entries in the Yakuza series, this will all seem very familiar to you, and that's mainly because this is a spin-off made by the same studio. But I thought I'd take the time in today's video to sort of go over my first 10 or so hours with this game. So briefly getting into the story, the game has you play as Yagami, a former lawyer turned private detective due to certain circumstances. The game pits you against Kamurocho's underworld in an attempt to solve a mysterious case. However, looking at the gameplay, you can see that Yagami isn't your everyday run-of-the-mill private investigator, especially considering he hands out these ass kickings at breakneck pace with relative ease. On the topic of gameplay though, as previously mentioned, if you've played any of the Yakuza games, you'll certainly feel right at home here. However, Judgment does end up throwing a few twists here and there to keep you on your toes. Of course, considering that you're now playing as a former lawyer instead of a former Yakuza member, there is more of an investigative side to the gameplay. We'll be tasked with finding certain clues here and there to help solve a potential case, or to help potentially move you along said case. And whilst the game does throw all these new changes at you in an attempt to keep things fresh, Judgment is still a Yakuza game at heart through and through. You're still set in the open city of Kamurocho where you're able to explore at your own pace, choosing between main missions and side missions. You'll still encounter random thugs on the street who want to test you, only to end up being hospitalized for their troubles, which I guess is something that the series never really acknowledges. I mean, sure, you end up beating some sense into these people, but surely the things you do mean that they'll likely never ever recover. And of course, you are still able to do all of the miscellaneous tasks you could do in the previous Yakuza games, such as going to grab a bite to eat, purchasing items, or going off to play some minigames. But uh, getting back to my thoughts on the games for a second, I've only put in 10 or 12 hours, somewhere along that margin, but I am finding the game to be fantastic. Now, I am a little biased in the sense that I'm a big fan of the Yakuza series, or the Ryuga Gotoko series as it's called in Japan, uh, but I do think that it is the perfect starting point for somebody who wants to get into these kinds of games, and that is for a few reasons. One of the first reasons, and in fact, one of the advantages it has over Yakuza 0, another perfect starting point in the series, is the fact that the game has two different dubs. You can play the game dubbed in Japanese, or you can play it dubbed in English. So far, my playtime has been split 50-50 between English and Japanese dubs, and I have to say that both of the dubs are fantastic. Uh, the actors do give a real sense of emotion throughout any of the cutscenes, or just in general the day-to-day -day comments that Yagami makes when he's kicking ass. So the game having an English dub is a key aspect considering that it acted as a barrier of entry for many people in the previous Yakuza games where they wanted to get into the games but they didn't want to have to read subtitles constantly. You know, people feeling that they were missing out on the action because they had to constantly read. Well, that isn't a problem in Judgment. Another key aspect that this game has going for it is the fact that it is a standalone title. It features a fresh cast, which means that you don't have to have played any of the other Yakuza games to know what's going on in this game. Considering that the game takes place in the same city as the other Yakuza entries, there are a few nods thrown in here and there to those entries, but you don't have to have played any of those entries to understand the overall game that is Judgment. Which is why I think Judgment is a good starting point for getting into these games. Again, I of course would also recommend Yakuza 0, but that does not have an English dub to it, so if reading subtitles is not your forte, then I'd suggest sticking with Judgment. And of course it goes without saying that if you do end up purchasing Judgment and enjoying your time thoroughly, there is a whole host of mainline and spin-off Yakuza games for you to dive into that are in the same vein of gameplay and of course story. Touching upon the story though, uh, just before we round out the video, I must say that so far, so good. I've only played 10, 10 or 12 hours I want to say, 
But as always, the story is one of the strong points. It always has been for the Yakuza entries. And there is a real sense of mystery in this game as to what exactly is going on. And it does kind of keep you wanting more. So for those of you who are worried that the game might seem a little bit shallow or surface deep, don't worry because there is plenty to dive into. But that is going to round it out for this video. If you haven't played Judgment or you have, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. As always, if you enjoyed today's video, do be sure to leave a like. And of course, subscribe to stay up to date with any future content. It has been me, Devil Never Cry. I would like to thank everybody for watching. And as always, I'll see you next video. Thank you.